Greetings, Notary Stars. This will be Module 5, and we are going to cover additional Adobe features that may be useful to you as your career progresses as a notary signing agent. Uh, we're going to show you a different way to organize your pages as we discussed in Module 2 with merging and splitting and deleting pages in Adobe. We're also going to show you how to edit a PDF, and we're going to talk about when is the appropriate time to edit a PDF, as you should never do any edits to an actual closing package that is distributed to you. And we're also going to show you how to password protect a PDF as well. So our first feature we're going to talk about is organizing pages. So we're going to open up our training package here. And our scenario is you just completed a signing and you scan the closing package. And you notice when you scan the closing package, all of the pages are upside down. And when you give this to title or your signing service or whomever contracted you for the job that is requesting scans, you don't want these to be upside down because again, really important part about your job is professional presentation. But this is a very easy, quick fix, and this can be done through our toolbar on the right-hand side. And keep in mind, you do need the Adobe Pro version to do this. You cannot do this through the free version, which is Adobe Reader. But on the right-hand side, as long as you have the PDF opened, you can click on Organize Pages. And it's going to give you thumbnails of all the pages included in your scan closing package. Now, our goal is to flip all these right side up as all of the pages scanned upside down. First thing we need to do is select all the pages because when you hover over one and select it, it's your edit bar is just going to edit the one you select. And you can go through them one by one, but that's gonna be very time consuming, especially when you get large closing packages, as most buyers and refinances can be 100 pages plus. So first thing we need to do is get all of these selected. What you wanna do, you can just click outside in the right-hand pane here. You wanna hold down the control button on your computer and then press A, and then everything is going to be selected. So again, hold down the control button and press A. And then at the top, there's a rotation button, and we're gonna rotate these right side up. And now all the pages are right side up. And we tinkered with this one a little bit. So we need the first page to be right side up. So we can deselect. Now, if there were a couple of pages that are not right side up after you review everything, you can go over to the individual page and click rotate. And with this feature, what you wanna keep in mind with the module two that we went over on the combined files, for some reason, it does not allow page rotation within there. So you will need to go over here to organize pages to do so. Once everything is right side up, you want to click close. And you can take a look at your closing package and just make sure everything is right side up. So this page here, it did not go right side up. So you would want to go and edit that page and it should automatically be highlighted once you click the organize pages and if you're on that page in the PDF and you can rotate it, go to close and you can continue reviewing your scans again, just to make sure everything is right side up. As this one isn't, but for training purposes, we're not gonna go through all 100 or 86 pages and do these individually as we just wanna show you how to execute this action. Now, some other scenarios may pop up. Let's say there was a missed signature on the closing disclosure. And we will go back to the closing disclosure. So for instance, 
let's say a miss signature was missed on the CD and you had to go back out and get that signature. Now that you got that correction taken care of, you need to get that signature page merged into this PDF so you can replace the one that has the missing signature with the one that has the executed signature. Now for training purposes, this closing package, it does have the signature on it, but we're just gonna pretend it doesn't. So what we wanna do is click on organize pages and it should populate or highlight the page that you were just on that has the missing signature. What we're gonna do now We're gonna open up the page so you can just see it again in a separate window. So this is the page that we just got the missing signature on. We'll turn that right side up. So we need to replace the missed signature page in your scan closing package with the individual signature page of the closing disclosure that you had to go back out and get signed. Very easy. All you need to do is delete the one you don't need, hit the trash can. Absolutely. Now all you need to do is take that page and put it where it belongs. And now you just replaced the missing signature with the signature page. Want to make sure that is rotated right side up. Now you can hit close. And always remember to save. Because if you don't press save, it's not going to save all of the work that you just did by rotating the pages and replacing that signature page. All right. Next lesson is we are going to show you how to edit a PDF. Now, I do caution you with editing any PDFs. You should never use the PDF editor with a closing package that title or the lender provides. So for example, if we go to our closing package and let's say we go to the signature page of the deed of trust, What you don't wanna do is edit the notarial section and type in your actual state and county, the day of notarization and your expiration date. You should always handwrite these items in. Now you can make stamps if it's easier for you to just stamp the state, county, you know, that should be okay. However, some lenders may take issues with stamps. So to be on the safe side, you should always hand write the appropriate information in. If you do need to write in state, county, and date, commission expiration date, you should never edit a lender's closing package or title documents as they may kick them back to you. So we are gonna pull up an all-purpose acknowledgement. Now, if you're a notary that puts in an all-purpose acknowledgement like California, they have to go by you know specific language that's required to be in their acknowledgements and jurat. So a lot of California notaries do not use the notarial sections for out-of-state property closings, and they will attach their own acknowledgement and jurat. These are okay to edit and add in your information because the lender or title did not distribute these. They're coming from the notary. So let's say you have a closing package and you have to add in you know, 10 or 20 of these and you wanna save yourself a little bit of time so you don't have to hand write the information in when you get to the closing table, uh, these are okay to, um, to edit and add in your information. All you need to do is go over to your tool pane and you're going to click on edit PDF. 
And once you click on edit PDF, you can see it opened up, it kind of scanned the, uh, the, PD, the PDF and opened up to all these text boxes uh, that you can now type in. In order to put in the text, you need to add text right at the top, left click on it, and put your cursor by where you need to type. And I'm using a big, large cursor, just so all of you can see. So it's hard to get it right on the line. There we go. And if I were notarizing in Arizona, I would type in Arizona for the state. County Maricopa. And you just fill in the information as you need to for a notary. Then down here's your signature. You can type in your commission expiration date as well. And you can also type in the optional information uh, if you have that ahead of time too. When you're all done, always hit the close button at the top right. That will take you out of the tool that you're working with. We'll zoom in here. And you can see we typed in Arizona, Maricopa, first day of June, 2022. My name, a signer's name, Jane Starr, and the rest of this you can manually fill out. Obviously, you cannot type in your signature there. And you always remember wanna, you want to save. So file, save, and it's going to save the changes you made on that PDF. But Again, never do this on title documents or lender issued documents. You only want to do edits and documents you provide. And this is helpful too if you're distributing a fee sheet to title, as you always want to give that in Adobe PDF instead of a Word document. It's much better professional presentation sending over a PDF, but and that's how you input text into a PDF. Next, we're going to talk about password protecting a PDF. You probably won't need to do this too often, as when you get assignments, typically title is going to have you send back the closing package through a secured email, or your signing service will have you upload them to a secure portal like SnapDocs or signing order. But if you ever need to password protect a PDF, you might have instances where title reaches out to you and asks, hi, can you go ahead and just email me the closing package? Well, you shouldn't just be emailing a closing package because if you email a closing package, you are now emailing a closing package full of social security numbers and bank information. And if there is a compromise of somebody's personal information, um, you as a notary can be held culpable for that, for not sending over that information securely. So this will get you by in a pinch if they don't have a secured email service and they just want you to send over the uh, uh, executed closing package uh, through regular email. You can password protect it. So that way the PDF is encrypted. And when you reach out to title, signing service, or whomever is asking for this to be emailed, you can relay them the password over the phone. All you need to do is go over to your right hand tool menu, click on protect. And you're gonna see a couple of options at the top, protect using password, 
remove hidden information, advanced options. All we're gonna show you how to do is protect this PDF with a password. So click on it. It's gonna give you a couple of options, viewing and editing. I recommend just going down to advanced options and click on encrypt with password. And document open, require a password to open the document. Click on that. It has to be six characters long. So create a password that is secure. For today's purposes, we're just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. And you shouldn't need to click either of these other two. We're just protecting this so when somebody opens it, they need the password to open and view the PDF. Click on OK. It's going to have you confirm the password that you just put in up here. So we're going to confirm it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit OK. It's going to tell you security settings will not be applied to the document until you save the document. Click OK. So what we want to do now is hit file. We'll save this one on the desktop. We're going to do training. We'll name it training. Save. And we will close out of this PDF. Now, once we open it again, it's going to ask for the password. So you want to put yourself in the mindset that title is having you email over this executed closing package and you set the password. Safest way is to call that person that is receiving this, give them the password over the phone. That way you can verify they are who they are in the email, give them the password and they will be able to open it up. So you're gonna say, hi, Mr. or Mrs. Escrow Officer, your password to open up the scan closing package is one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, make a secure password. Don't do one, two, three, four, five, six or password. Be creative. Hit OK. And now it opens up the PDF. And this concludes module five. If you do have any questions, please send us an email at contact at notarystars.com. And we hope you have a great day.